Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday, January 28th, 2020, regular selectmen's meeting. Um, is Selectman Pendergast and Ganeer are absent today. Is uh, Mark's out of town. Mark's out of town, and, and uh, so is Ed. Ed's down in Massachusetts. Is uh, We have town manager and town clerk here. Uh, please stand with me and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we have the approval of our uh, meeting minutes from January 14th. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes as presented. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Is uh, public comment? We have no public, so we will have no public comment. Is we have no public hearings scheduled for tonight. Is reports of committees? Is um, I know Vision Berwick is not met yet, and I uh, don't believe Terry is going to come out and do a committee report because she gave one last time. Is uh, we have no department reports, no appointments, presentations, or other guests. Unfinished business. Nothing under that. Is a uh, town manager report. Oh, wow. That was quick. <laughs> um, I, department heads and I are going to be meeting next week to do, uh, they've all submitted their uh, budget request for the upcoming year, fiscal year. Um, and we will be meeting next week uh, with all of them to, uh, Lisa Vargas and myself, uh, to find out uh, their thoughts on it and, and then they'll get our thoughts on it. So. Um, we have uh, a question from our 911 addressing agent, uh, who is our code enforcement officer. Uh, we have to pick a name for um, the new access road, um, and she's got some suggestions, but uh, there's been some ideas would be, can we drive lane, way, road, court, or street, uh, public safety, EMS, captains, chiefs, uh, Barnes, Fallen Hero, Safety, Gallant, Fallen Hero, and Public, or anything else that anybody would like to come up with. But she thought it would be appropriate to have the Board of Selectmen choose a name. Well, we'll have to think about that. <laughs> we can come back to the 11th and if you want. I don't think it's... No. Not that... Well, I was going to say is we don't have the full board and it yeah. just sprung it on us, so. I'll make sure I'll send something out to each board member with their question, list. Question Lane. How's that? Question Lane, yeah. The wrong, um, wrong way. <laughs> fire station update. We had a meeting this morning uh, or this afternoon with the committee. Um, they are uh, getting ready to pour the final concrete this week in, in uh, walls. And, uh, they'll be doing all the drainage stuff next week and then backfilling it and getting ready for some of the walls to start going up. So that's exciting. Uh, street lights, um, uh, you should see them out and about next week, uh, 1st of February, to start replacing the street lights. Uh, they're all up in public works, and I'm sure Robert can't wait to get them out of there. He's got two full pallets. Um, union meetings, we uh, are, I guess they are scheduled for a meeting on February 7th. So hopefully by on February 11th, uh, we at our meeting we'll be able to approve uh, the uh, union contract. It's a little bit late. Um, the auditors have been in uh, and out, and we've got their draft. And uh, Lisa and I went through it, um, made some comments, and um, it's we submitted our final uh, review to that, so that we should be getting that. Hopefully. Within the month of February, but they're a little bit slow. And at our next meeting, I'm going to have it, and I'll send it out to you. Uh, there's been some uh, requests to update the fees at the transfer station. Some costs have gone up, and we've done a comparison with surrounding transfer stations, and uh, we thought we would make adjustments to be competitive and get a um, budget with 
uh, it, some stuff. I, I, I was at the transfer station today and spoke with Hokey. He said something about wanting to uh, maybe adjust some hours. Has he talked to you about he that? Talked to me about that. Well, it's, it's concerning the uh, the demolition debris. Yes. Is uh, wanting to close those off a little bit earlier than the regular closing time because yeah. they end up working over, you no know, taking care of that. Cleaning so, it up and compacting. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So you can talk to Hokey about that. I'll, I'll probably see him this week sometime then. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Expected they, him uh, here to talk about it, but <laughs> yeah, they. Um, yes, we've been seeing, uh, and I thank the public for doing all the recycling. Uh, we are recycling. Uh, number of times we pull have got has gone up a lot. And uh, the price, of course, has gone down because the Chinese aren't buying any more of the uh, recycling material. Uh, so, but it's, it's a good thing. Our waste has gone down. Uh, but I thank the public for recycling and saving the planet. Yeah. So that's all I have. Well, it, it, is it's all because Ed threatened them with paper bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we heard what they like, what don't like about it, so. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's, we're just focusing on budgets. All right. Is uh, Selectman's Communications, is I had a notice from the Census Bureau, is just to, uh, is, uh, uh, to, for me to make sure that our, the town's boundaries are where they're supposed to be, I guess. Oh. As I showed, showed that to James, we went over the map a little bit and... Uh, it all looks like this, where we're supposed to be, yeah. so <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, Line walk. I'll uh, fill that paperwork out and send that back in. Have they started counting yet? Um, no. Is, uh, they, they're um, <clears throat> in the process of hiring in this area. I guess the only place they've, they've started the actual census is in rural Alaska. Yeah, so. yeah they have started it. It's you just know, the high population area. area. Yeah, yeah we've, I've had several people in, and it's, they've kind of changed over a few times. <clears throat> Um, and when they're ready, they, they want to come before the board and, uh, and talk about that so they get it out on the TV screen. But I haven't heard yet, so it might be someone different by the time I, they get it to us. But. So. Um, and uh, I have some <clears throat> letters here from Comcast that I haven't had a chance to look at yet. So I'm sure they're just talking about changes in programs that nobody in Berwick watches anyways, it seems like. So... <laughs> Channel 800 and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, that brings us to our accounts payable. <clears throat> we have a payroll warrant, number 2030, from January 23rd, 2020, for the amount of $66,361.99. Yes, we have a account payable warrant. 2031 from January 30th, 2020, the amount of $245,695.21. We have a water warrant, 031 from January 30th, 2020, the amount of $13,733.06. And we have payroll warrant, 2031 from January 30th, 2020, for the amount of $54,743.83, is I will make a motion to pay our bills. A second. All those in favor? Thank you. <clears throat> New business. The foreclosure properties. We have a list, if you would just explain... If you would, Steve. Yeah, as we go through the lien process for back taxes and things, it's, it's a scheduled uh, state guidelines. Um, and uh, part of it is we present to you the list of foreclosed properties coming up, um, just so you ha have an idea of how many we have, which is really a bit fewer than we've had in the past. I've, I've seen lien notices go out for over 300, and they seem to respond pretty quickly. Uh, foreclosures. Uh, there are some people on that list that we're working with, um, so hopefully we can uh, get them caught up and not on the list anymore. But this is something that makes you aware that, uh, of what we're doing in the, in the tax collection process. Any questions of the town manager? So when is everything due? 
Um, these are all foreclosed, so uh, these are oh already out. Oh, my God. It goes to foreclosure on February 10th. February 10th. 10th. Yeah. Yeah. And they have? Up until then to up pay. Up until then mm -hmm. to pay? Okay. Yeah. And, well, even after we foreclose, some people can't show up, and uh, you'll be getting a quick claim deeds to give it back, the property back to them if they pay up in full. So at least <clears throat> that tax year. So sometimes constantly chasing. Well, and this amounts that you see here are only for the year 2018. So, all right. Is uh, now we have <clears throat> an order for municipal offices. Is um, <clears throat> it, you give an explanation for this one, Steve, for the uh, applying the money to the taxes? Yes, we've had a, uh, any time I've worked in the habit or process has been, when somebody has back taxes that are owed, we always pay, they have to pay off the oldest ones first, and we move up through the line. This is just a document, document for us to have on file that this is the process that we use here. Uh, anybody has any questions, it's something that you as a board have, has adopted and signed. And all of our customer service clerks know this and they always apply it to the oldest first so any more any questions of steve do i have a motion i move that we accept the uh what we make the order of to the municipal offices uh as presented as presented a second. second any further discussion all those in favor And now we have a poll petition permit from CMP. And this looks like it's uh, moving a poll, an existing poll on Pine Hill Road, further down the road, or up the road, I guess. Moving it 41 feet <clears throat> out of, a, out of the uh, driveway, Little Harbor Road. Northwesterly. Any questions on it? <clears throat> I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the poll petition for 46 Pine Hill Road. Second. All those in favor? Thank you. Um, we have no quick claim deeds, no abutment, abatements or supplements. We have no public for a public second public comment um we do not need a executive session nope correct um any other business non-agenda items to bring brought up nothing for me nope. today is the anniversary of the challenger exploding yes so, yeah. wow i saw a very interesting tweet asking where people were when it happened a lot of them were in school and stuff like that i was uh three months shy of being born so <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was working. I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was working building the J.C. Penney's store down at the Fox Run Mall is where I was. That makes me feel old. <laughs> but, it's a date you remember where you were. Yeah. One of those. Yep. Is uh, when the uh, second one exploded. I was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Terry had just started work down there. Wow. Um, if there's no other business, uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Thank uh, you. Thank you.